everyone, my name is Laura and I'm the host of SVP Kids Online Church where we're going to sing and pray and have fun while we hear God's word and we learn about how awesome it is to live a life following Jesus. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. If you're here, that means you're a friend, whether you're a little kid, a big kid, or a kid at heart. We're all friends here. And since we're friends, we should definitely know each other's names. So on the count of three, I want you to yell out your name for all to hear. Are you ready? One, two, three. Awesome. Hey, you can also tell us your name in the comments to this video if you see a place for comments. There isn't always one, so if you don't see one, that's okay too. Hey, what do you wonder about? Do you ever wonder about Jesus? Over the next few weeks, we're gonna head to the WOW Lab and wonder and discover together some answers to our questions that we have in our new series called Wonder Why. I can't wait. Let's head to the Wonder Lab now. I wonder what will happen next. What will happen next? 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 What's up everybody? I'm Cody. And I'm Kelvin. Welcome to our lab. The, the WOW, wow lab. lab! Hello to everyone watching our live video today. Here in the WOW Lab, we want to hear the things you wonder about and see if we can find some answers that make you say, WOW! 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 Okay, but do you remember what it means to wonder? Okay then, check this out. I wonder why my teachers tell me not to pick my nose. I wonder why milk gives you a mustache but other drinks don't. I wonder why fireworks are so loud. I wonder why my brother screams on roller coasters. Yes! Wonder is when we are curious and feel surprised by what we find. God created our brains to wonder about all the things around us because when we do, we'll be able to see how awesome and wonderful He is. Yeah, in short, wonder makes us say, wow. <laughs> so, Kelvin, what's something that made you say wow this week? Honestly, a lot of things, like last night's sunset, the smell of my new shampoo, and the story I read about Jesus yesterday morning. But really, every story I read about Jesus leaves me saying, wow. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Jesus is pretty awesome. And I wonder what he was like when he lived here on earth. Have you guys ever wondered what Jesus is like? Let us know in the comments. Whoa, look, looks like there's so many questions about Jesus. What did Jesus look like? Did he have a beard and fluffy hair? Was he a real person? Was Jesus really perfect? What did he do with his friends? And, and Pink Fluffy Unicorn Girl wants to know, is Jesus' last name Christ? Oh, here's another good one. Jake is Great says, what's the big deal about Jesus? Those are wonderful questions. I have an idea for how we can answer Jake's question and while we get set up, you guys check out this message from Professor Sai and see if it answers any of your questions about Jesus. Professor Sai here to help you wonder why. Have you ever wondered why people say that God is three in one? It's one of the most mysterious and fascinating things about him. You see, God is one God made up of three different persons. God the Father, God the Son, who is Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. But that doesn't mean he is three actual people. Think about it like water. Water can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas, but it's still only one thing, water. In the same way, 
God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are all the same God, but they do different things. God the Father is the best dad ever. He is in heaven watching over us and is excited for us to join him one day. God the Son is Jesus. God sent him from heaven to earth over 2,000 years ago to show us how to live and take the punishment for all the wrong things we do by dying on the cross. Then he came back to life, and now he is in heaven, getting ready to come back to earth again soon. And God the Holy Spirit works in the hearts of everyone who believes in God, helping them know how to follow his son, Jesus. God is three in one, and there is no one like him. Get on your feet. It's time to play Stick Together. Watch to see what the dice land on. The first dice will tell you a number and the second dice will tell you what you and your friends need to stick together. When the dice stops rolling, you start moving. Here we go. Five fists. Find a group and put five fists together before the dice start rolling again. Pinkies! Find a group and put three pinky fingers together before the dice start rolling again. Six elbows! Find a group and put six elbows together. Good game, everyone! Go ahead and take a seat. Okay, everyone, I got one epic experiment for us to do today. We're gonna to be using some pretty strong chemicals, so I got my safety glasses on. How can I help? Awesome, so actually, Cody, you can take these two crosses and stick them back to back on the rod of this straw dispenser while I get our solutions ready. Oh, it's for straws. I wondered what it was. <laughs> yeah, so while you do that, I'm gonna fill this part about halfway with water. Nice. All right, and now next, I'm gonna add about five or six drops of phenolphthalein. <laughs> You're gonna add the who's he, what's it? <laughs> it's called a phenolphthalein. That is such a big word for a <laughs> tiny little bottle. Right? All right, you guys count with me. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, in this next beaker, I'm gonna add just a little bit of water and a splash of ammonia. Woo! That stinks. <laughs> Sorry, dude. No, I was talking about the ammonia, not you. Oh, the ammonia wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> okay. What's next, Calvin? All right. Well, actually, what's next is we're gonna add some vinegar right here at the bottom of this. So hold that steady. Awesome. We're ready to go. I'm beginning to wonder what's gonna happen when we <laughs> put it all together. Well, if you guys are wondering about this too, give us a little thumbs up if you're curious about what's gonna happen next. Okay, to get started, this jar right here is gonna represent you and me, and just everyone that we know. This jar right here represents sin. Does anyone know what sin is? Wah, 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 correcto mundo, number one Tigers fan. Sin is when we do something wrong. Exactly. Sin is all the wrong things that people do. Sometimes we let sin into our life because it looks harmless and even fun. Whoa. <laughs> right? But really, sin hurts our friendship with God and there's no way for us to fix it or get rid of it. Oh, that's why we need Jesus. Exactly. Watch what happens when Jesus comes into our life. Watch closely. Wow. <laughs> nice. So guys, when we ask Jesus to come into our life, he changes everything. And when he died on the cross, he took the punishment for all of our sin. When we let him into our life, he forgives us for all the wrong things we've done and will ever do. So 
Pause. Wait a minute. You're, you're telling me that when Jesus comes into our lives, he not only forgives us for all the wrong things we've done, like lying, disobeying our parents, taking your friend's last piece of gum without asking. What? Sorry, dude. But he forgives all the wrong things we'll ever do in the future too? Yes. Jesus knows we're not perfect and that we'll keep doing wrong things. So he went ahead and took the punishment for all the wrong things we'll ever do. Wow. So I, that, that answers your question, Jake is great. You asked what's the big deal about Jesus and now we know that Jesus is a really big deal because he took all the punishment for the wrong things we do so that we can be forgiven and have a friendship with God. My mind is like blown to a billion little pieces. <laughs> well, while Cody picks up all the pieces of his mind, you guys play this fun game. Can you find two pictures that match? Way to go! I can wonder about Jesus. Wow! Jesus is definitely wonderful. It is amazing how he can take away all of our sin. I can't wait to explore this a little more. But first, how did you do this? Well, Cody, simply it was a chemical reaction. All the liquids here started out clear because they each have a different pH level based on what they're made of. And the drops, you put in the water, turn everything a different color when the pH reaches a certain level. The ammonia has a high pH level, so that's why it changed colors when I poured in the ammonia water. But how did it turn clear again at the end? Okay, I got gotcha. you. So the vinegar that we put in the base of the straw dispenser has a low pH level. And when it entered the container, it lowered the pH and therefore changed the color back. That was really cool. Okay, so we've answered Jake's question about why Jesus is so important, but there's still a lot we all want to know about what Jesus was like. Yeah, so let's check this out. Hey Beaker. Yeah, Millie? If we're wondering some things about Jesus, where should we look in the Bible? Well, all over really. Huh. I thought stories about Jesus were only in the New Testament part of the Bible. Well, the New Testament is where we read about Jesus coming to live here on earth for a little while. But Jesus actually existed before the world began. And he was with God when he created the whole universe in Genesis, the first book of the Bible. We get glimpses of Jesus throughout the entire Old Testament. And God's messengers even told people he was coming to earth one day. And then that's what we read about in the New Testament, right? Yep. At just the right time, God sent his son Jesus to earth. He was born as a real human baby, but he still had all of the same power he had when he created everything, God's power. Jesus must have had a pretty sweet life then. If his family needed a new camel, I bet he could just make one appear. And since he had the power to know everything, he probably never had any problems. Not quite. While Jesus was fully God, he was also a real person who experienced all the things we experience. There were times when Jesus was hungry, tired, surprised, and even sad. Jesus was also tempted to do wrong things, but he never did. Wow, tell me more about what Jesus was like when he lived here on earth. Well, he did so many amazing things like heal people who were sick and feed huge crowds with one tiny lunch. Jesus even walked on water. A lot of people saw him do these things and they started wondering more about him. So Jesus asked his closest friends who they thought he was. God had shown Jesus' friend, Peter, exactly who he was. Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Wow, it must have been so cool to be Jesus' friend. Jesus and his friends did have a lot of fun together by traveling, fishing, going to church, and even going to parties, but life wasn't always easy for them, 
especially when Jesus told his friends that he was going to have to suffer and die. But Jesus promised that he wouldn't stay dead. And what Jesus said actually happened. He took the punishment for our sins by dying on a cross. That's crazy that Jesus would do that for us. But I wonder why it had to happen that way. Well, someone had to take the punishment for our sin. And the Bible says that the punishment for sin is death. Jesus didn't want us to have to die, so he died for us. And since he is God, he used his superpowers to come back to life three days later. Wow, so where is Jesus now? Well, he told his friends that he had to go back to his father's house in heaven, where he would prepare a place for them and everyone else who believes in him to live forever. Then Jesus' friends watched as he rose up into heaven. I bet they just stood there staring at the sky, wondering what in the world had just happened. <laughs> That's exactly what they did, until two angels appeared and told his friends, Jesus has been taken away from you into heaven, but he will come back in the same way you saw him go. Now, Jesus lives in heaven, seated on his throne right beside God. But Jesus promised his friends and all of us that he would come back. On that day, he will return to earth and he will bring all who believe in him back to heaven to live with him forever. I can wonder about Jesus. a lot of things about Jesus today that make us say, wow! But have we answered all the questions we had at the beginning? Well, we answered most of them. Like, was Jesus perfect? What did he do with his friends? But we didn't find out what Jesus looked like. You're right. No one had cameras back in Jesus' day. So no one knows for sure what he looked like. But most men who lived where he lived during that time had dark hair, tan skin, and a beard. And we can't forget about Pink Fluffy Unicorn Girl's question. She was wondering, is Jesus' last name Christ? Oh yeah, that is a great question. I can confirm that Christ is not Jesus' last name. It's a title that we can use to describe who Jesus is. Another way you can say it is Jesus the Christ. You can even put it at the beginning of his name, just like I call my dentist, Dr. Kate. We can call Jesus Christ Jesus. That makes so much sense. God's one awesome God. That's why Moses said, Lord, who among the gods is like you? Who is like you? You are majestic and holy. Your glory fills me with wonder. You do amazing things. Exodus 15, 11. Let's play a game to see if us and all of our viewers know what the word Christ means. 
And we'll see if we can all remember the other answers that we found to some of our questions today. Walker, point to the answer you think is correct. Here we go. Does the word Christ mean Messiah or carpenter? The correct answer is Messiah, which also means savior. Was Jesus a real person? Yes or no? Yes, Jesus was a real person and he was fully God. Did Jesus ever do anything wrong? Yes or no? No. Why is Jesus so important? Because he took the punishment for our sins or because he fixed our friendship with God? Both answers are right. I can wonder about Jesus. What Jesus did for us is amazing, and we should definitely tell him thank you. So everyone, bow your heads, close your eyes, and pray with me. Jesus, wow! Thank you for leaving your home in heaven and coming to earth to show us how to live and to take the punishment for our sins. It's amazing how you came back to life, and we can't wait to live with you in heaven forever one day. We love you, amen. All right. That's all for today, but if you've got more questions, here's what you can do. Talk to God and tell him what you're wondering about. You can even ask him to show you an answer. Read the Bible. It's full of amazing things that will blow your mind. You can even ask a grown up what you're wondering and see what they can help you find. And of course, tune in next time to see what answers we discover. On our next episode, we should find out more about the third person of God that Professor Sai was talking about. What was he called again? The Holy Spirit. Oh yeah, as some people call him, the Holy Ghost. Ooh, you'll have to come back next time and see what that's all about. As always, keep wondering until you find out something that makes you say, wow. wow. See you later guys. Bye everybody. I can wonder about Jesus. Wow, I learned so much today and it was so great to wonder about Jesus with you. You did a great job wondering. Here at SBP Kids Online Church, we don't just wonder and learn about Jesus, we hang out with him and talk to him too. So let's pray together. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, wow, thank you for leaving your home in heaven and coming to earth to show us how to live and to take the punishment for our sins. It's amazing how you came back to life and we can't wait to live with you in heaven forever one day. We love you, amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. I had lots of fun wondering with you today, but did you know that there's even more fun to be had? Check out our newsletter for some lab notes and a Mad Libs for you to print off as you wonder and learn this week. Your parents can sign up for the newsletter by going to stbenedict.ca slash svpkids and subscribing to the SVP Kids Scoop. And in that email, you'll also find a link to our preschool SVP Kids online church video that has even more fun to discover in the Wow Wonder Lab. That's right. We now have two videos of SVP Kids online church each weekend. So click the link in the SVP Kids Scoop or go to YouTube to find the fun. And until I see you next time, keep on wondering. Bye.